Hello darlings, I am Cassandra and this pick a card video the jungle beauty goddesses are going to discuss with you why people are laughing behind your back child anyway I am very excited about this video I don't even know what's gonna happen yet thank you so much for watching I would like for you to take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by taking in a deep breath to the count of nine holding it to the count of nine and releasing it to the count of nine. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep in mind when selecting a jungle beauty goddess message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true jungle beauty goddess choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the jungle beauty goddesses have to say to help you find your way. Hello darling. If you selected Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari, this message is for you. So we're going to discuss why people are laughing behind your back, child. So the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And she said, live as if the only time you would ever have is now. Wow. Live as if the only time you would ever have is now. Ooh, what's popping into my head is that people are laughing behind your back because people think that you live too far in the future. Like you're that person who you're more concerned about two years from now than you are right now. So when people are laughing about you behind your back, they're really just thinking that, yeah, it's nice to plan, it's nice to be organized, but what about now? What about, um, what about the person, like, let me just say this, there are people who, they are better planners than they are doers. Do you know what I'm saying? So they, everything they do is for the tomorrow that never comes. And behind your back, this is what people are saying about you. Like this person isn't even living the life they have in front of them. The next message I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby in terms of why people are laughing behind your back. If you don't change, you will become obsolete. Oh, people think you have what popped in my head right away was that you have beliefs that are not forward thinking and I think we all do but when people laugh behind your back they're thinking like people just don't think like that anymore or it's but you may feel that way because it's a part of your spiritual experience or your religious belief or whatever but people are laughing behind your back because they think that your beliefs are not in alignment with a changing society the next card I have for you Again, we have Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai, and her message to you as to why people are laughing behind your back is spontaneity is a cure for everything. Again, people really wish that you could let go of the plans and just live in the moment. So you have another card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai as well that's saying, you know, she says, live as if the only time you would ever have is now. The other card is spontaneity spontaneity is a cure for everything 
people think you live in your head and that you're always probably working or planning, but you're not really enjoying the life that you have. And so when they look at you, so it's so funny as I'm doing this video, I feel like like probably this applies to me somehow even though I didn't put myself in it but yeah like you people just think you live in your head and you don't live in your body and you don't enjoy life enough the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess uh, Chavi and she says you have the courage to stand up for yourself so basically um, the cards just have people are laughing at you behind your back because you are a person who's either planning for the future, you're working all the time, and when I, when I use the title laughing, it's just that when, I think scoffing would be probably the better word. Like, you know, like this person is never present um, in their current life, they're not spontaneous enough. I wish they would do more things that, you know, just live in the moment. Um, but what this, the car from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby is telling you is that you should stand up for yourself to these people. But you know what? I think also the twist to this is that maybe it's something you should take into consideration. Maybe you should, you know, go to see a movie that, you know, out of the blue or go do something fun or you know go and you know like they think that you are just living too tight in a box and that you're not free that you're not that you do you don't understand what I'm saying this is what people are saying about you like you're not really you're living like a robot and you everything is planned and everything has to be perfect and they're saying like you know maybe you should live a live a little and I think even though your car says you can stand up for yourself you have the courage to stand up for yourself I think you should stand up for yourself and say look I like to plan things this is a way up but I also think you should take in consideration that maybe people are right maybe you really do need to loosen up a little bit and live a little bit more in the moment and live a, and be a little bit more free-hearted and to have some spontaneity in your life and enjoy your life more it's not a it's not a bad thing to do you know what I'm saying I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you select the Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib, this reading is for you. And we're going to discuss why people are laughing at you behind your back, child. Why are these people laughing? The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And her message for you is, between the words, therein lies the truth. I'm just going to say right off the bat, people think you exaggerate. And they feel like, okay, this person is an exaggerator, so the truth is somewhere in there. I'm just going to listen real good. I'm not saying they're saying you're a liar, but I'm just I'm going to just say people think you exaggerate. And that's one of the things they're laughing at about you behind your back. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chavi. And she represents our third chakra and our personal power. She says, sometimes you are your own worst enemy. Ooh. What's popping in my head, child, is that people are laughing at you behind your back because they think that you bring a lot of negative energy to yourself. Like some, like maybe um, when people say you're your war own worst enemy, it's like you may be the type of person who just you know blow up at people. You get angry easy, tell people off, and then you don't understand why nobody want to help you move. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> there, it's like they feel like you can't see your own role in a lot of the things that are happening to you you know you can't understand how when you get angry easily or if you tell people off or i just told the truth like yeah what's yeah that popped in my head like you know some people just feel like because they're telling the truth that it means that what they're doing is right so you beat other people up with your truth like I just told I, I, somebody had to tell her she didn't look good in those jeans. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody had to tell him that you don't have to be that person. So behind your back, people are saying, "Wow, your life would be so much easier if you were just, you know, if you could just be more positive, 
not you don't have to be the one to tell people the truth. You don't have to go off on people. When I say go off or tell people off or tell them the truth, you can be kind. And if you're kind, you're going to get that kindness back to you. Now, let me just say this. I'm not saying you're not a kind person, but there are people who feel like because I'm telling the truth, therefore I am right and you just don't understand me. We don't have to beat people up with the truth. We don't have to tell people, oh, you shouldn't wear this or you shouldn't do this or um, that's what happened. Like sometimes people don't need that. And I, so it's not that you're a liar or whatever. It's just that just keep some things to yourself. So behind your back, even though I titled the video where people are laughing at behind your back, cause, but I really, you know, it's like they're scoffing like, man, she's her own worst enemy because she can't see how her attitude and the way she talked to people and how, you know, how people really don't want to be there for her if she was just a little bit sweeter, you know, you get more flies with honey than you do with vinegar, like my mom used to say. So, you know, just, you know, just lighten up a little bit. Just be kind. Even if somebody is being rude to you, just be kind, especially when somebody, you need them. You know what I'm saying? I have another card for you. Oh my God, you drawn in some Sahara child who represents our approach chakra, I believe, to communicate, to be hear the truth, see the truth, speak the truth, um, to uh, express ourselves, to listen to other people's truth. It says, if the answer is yes or no, you have not asked the right questions. So basically, if you have, um, if you're thinking like, well, what you want me to do? Just, you know, not tell people how I feel. Uh, no, you can tell people how you feel, but just change the tone. Or maybe you could just, it's not, it's not yes or no. It's almost like what I'm picking up is that people feel that you're a little bit of, a, of an extremist. Which means that either you're like trying to be super nice and it seems so nice that it's fake or you're just being mean. Like your ability to communicate with people is either you, you don't really know how to find a middle ground. It's not, well, should I tell them the truth? No, you can t tell them the truth, but just maybe later or never. Or maybe you could tell them another way. Or maybe you could say, honey, um, just what if you just added a little bit more salt? The, the car just saying, that the way you communicate with people is not as sensitive and compassionate as it could be. That is what I'm picking up. I, you know, this message is for someone. It may not be for you, but this message is for someone. So the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And her message to you is create your place in the world by doing what brings you joy. Aww. So basically, what I'm picking up from the car is why people are laughing at you behind your back. It's because you are frustrated. You're, you're really like when you, you're not happy with your life the way it is. You want more, you wanna be more, you wanna, you want to communicate with people. You want things to turn out better. But for some reason, you're just not really sure how to do it. And the cards are suggesting that you need to figure out what brings you joy. And once you have more joy in your life, you're going to find that the way you communicate with people is going to be so much softer and kinder. So um, one of the things I like for you to do, create your place in the world by doing what, you, what brings you joy, is I would really like for you to go back to your childhood and I want you to think about the cartoons. I want you to think about the the activities you love, that you like coloring, that you like playing with clay, that you like playing outside. I mean, in order, for, usually when we need to tap into our joy, we need to tap into our childhood because that's be, especially I would say it's before everybody come in and start telling you what you can't do and who you can't be. So I want you to think about all the things that you really enjoy doing as a child, and tapping into that energy. I like for you to think about your old favorite foods, your favorite candies, like whether it's non-laters or, you know, um, whatever. I want you to really go back to cartoons, candy, your favorite cereal, and I want you to go get that cereal too. I want you to find at least three things from your childhood that you really enjoy. I want you to buy them, okay? I want you to find those activities that really made you happy and I need you to do them. Once you tap into that joy, 
it's going to like maybe you have a job where you can't quit your job as a lawyer or whatever you're doing because you need the money but maybe you can start a hobby painting you know or maybe you can start a hobby making dolls or making videos or what but once you tap into your joy and your happiness this is going to change how you communicate with people because that that the difficulty that you're having with communicating with people because that's what I'm picking up is why people are laughing behind your back is that they're thinking like you know hey she's you know she's always either telling the raw truth that's hurting people's feelings or going off and you feel justified because you feel like it's the truth but the truth is you haven't you're not as happy with your life as you could be and once you are happy with your life you're going to be much more compassionate and kind in how you communicate with other people. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling. If you selected Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara, who represents our root chakra, then this reading is for you, and she's going to dis we're going to discuss with you why people are laughing at you behind your back. So the very first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chavi, and her message to you is: Mind your own affairs. Uh oh. This card to me is saying people are laughing at you behind your back because you probably gossip. Um, probably don't mind your own business. You, you know what I'm saying? You don't do it on purpose. You have good intentions. But, yeah. Like, you know, you're the person, like, if somebody tells you something you really don't want to tell, I mean, you don't have any ill intentions. You're not trying to hurt people. But sometimes people tell you stuff because they know you're gonna, it's going to get out because they know you're going to tell it. So it's like this card is saying you don't mind your own affairs. <clears throat> the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And her message to you is you don't find love. You resonate love and it finds you. Wow. What I'm picking up from this card is that people are laughing at you behind your back because what I'm trying to, I want to be careful how I say this. It's kind of like we attract who we are. So they're laughing at you because it seems like you, you want to be liked and you want to be loved, but it says you don't find love you resonate love and it finds you and this is this is a card that is not just meant for um, a romantic relationship it means our relationship so it's like if you are let's just go back to the card about mind your own affairs if somebody tell you something that's a secret or people talk to you about their life or what I'm just using that as an example then they don't want you to tell that to other people um, but when you do that then you make yourself open to other people telling things about you so basically the psychological the way you treat people is the way people treat you okay that's the best way to say it so you might be the person who's complaining that you know I don't really like to have female friends I can't trust women or you can or maybe complain about the different types of relationships you're having but what they're saying is that you you're really not taking a good look at yourself to see that you are like the people that you are complaining about and that, does that sound weird that you're like the people that you're complaining about but you just lack the ability to see that so when it says you don't find love you resonate love and it finds you so what it's saying is that you can't find a good friend until you become a good friend. You can't find a good relationship until you are the person who resonates at the frequency 
of being a person who would be in a good relationship. Does that make sense? So they're, they're saying that the things that you're saying and the things that you're doing are, are not in alignment with what you really want in life. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is Ooh, unrequited love is self betrayal. Again, it goes back to you don't find love. It says, you, it, it goes back to the card that says you don't find love. You resonate love and it finds you. Unrequited love. Unrequited love is when you love somebody and, you know, you, you're doing all the loving you're doing, and they don't really, you know, treat you as kind and as just as they should. And so when you are, let's say you meet a guy and, he said he's going to call, he doesn't call, and you, you know, when he does finally call, you're all super excited about it, then you're, you're betraying yourself, you're betraying your relationship with yourself, and then you'll go and say, oh, this person is a bad person, or this person ghosts me, whatever the term, you know, and you basically don't see how you are the culprit in the sense that you're resonating at this frequency to attract these type of people to you because in so many ways you are like the people that you say negative things about and I know like a lot of women they'll say things like oh um you know I go they, they, they tell me a lot of negative things about their female friends but they can't see that they are just like the women that they are talking about. You know, it's, it's that type of thing. That's, you know, the thing that people are saying about you. They, they're talking about people on the, on the one hand about minding your own affairs, but also not seeing how you are so much like the people to whom you are saying negative things about. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess. Katara and the Mead, and it says, plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul. And this card is more like the resolution card, and it's saying that they really want you to take a really good look at yourself and the energy that you're putting out, like whether you're minding your own affairs and do you really love yourself? Are you resonating at a frequency of divine, unconditional love? Are you being are you don't maybe you didn't realize that when somebody told you that they were going to have you know a surgery that you shouldn't share it with other people maybe you know they just i think it's more like they want you to be more loyal and to really watch how you how you love whether it's your female friends or whether it's a romantic relationship it's almost like i'm getting the impression that you <laughs> You come across as if you're being done wrong, but you can't see your role and your own sense of accountability to how things are. But the card is saying plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul. They're asking you to remember that whatever you do is what's going to come back to you. So if you want loyalty, you have to be loyal, right? If you want people to admire you, you you have to everything that you plant is plant seeds that bear the fruit of your soul so whatever you plant is going to bear the fruit of your soul whether that's jealousy, envy love, kindness, support you, you understand what I'm saying so watch how you interact with people so that you can have kinder and more loving relationships with people because people are laughing at you behind your back because they don't think you're very sincere. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darlings. If you selected Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai, this reading is for you to answer the question, why people are laughing at you, darling, behind your back. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib's message to you is, you are a timeless and limitless being 
proceed in this manner. So I guess what's popping in my head in terms of what people are laughing at you about is that you seem to be the kind of person, this is, I'm just going with my intuition, that make a lot of excuses as to why your life is not where it should be. And your friends are looking at you thinking like, gee, the last time you got your income tax check, you could have paid for that class and gone back to school, but you just didn't do it. You know, so when it says you are a timeless and limited, limitless being proceed in this manner, I'm getting the impression that you are not living in alignment with your highest and best self. And other people can see that you know, yes, you were going to make a video, but for some reason, you just never got around to it. Or, yes, you you know, you seem to, you know, what you're saying you want and what you are doing don't seem to line up. And the cards are saying that you're a limited being. You're unlimited being, I'm sorry. And your friends can see that, but for some reason, or not friends or family or whoever, people who are laughing are saying, this person can't even see that they stopped going to class. They can't even see that they didn't do blah, 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 blah. That's the kind of stuff people are laughing at behind your back. <clears throat> the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is, your body is your most valuable asset on earth. People are laughing at you behind your back because they don't feel that you really take care of, your, of yourself as well as you could and should. Now, if, if you, and I mean, I'm quite sure this card probably could apply to all of us in some way. Maybe not getting enough sleep, maybe not eating enough a healthy diet. Uh, maybe with the people that we interact with, the people that we share our body with, people just don't think you value yourself. I'm just going to be straight up honest with you. The next card I have with, for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is, never apologize for loving with all your heart. So basically, this card to me is saying that, oh my, when I, oh my God, it goes right back to the card, where I said people are laughing at you because your body is your most valuable asset on earth. Either you're not taking care of yourself, you are giving too much of yourself away. This could be an intimate relationship. This could be the person that's always helping other people move, helping people do their homework. You know, you, anything somebody, you need, if someone needs to borrow money, you're the one to give it to them. It doesn't matter. It's giving from an empty cup, um, not properly taking care of yourself. And it says, I never apologize for loving with all your heart. Basically, this car is saying that you should, you don't have to apologize for being that person who's being there for everybody who is laughing at you behind your back, but you do need to start loving yourself with the same intensity, and it, which means you may tell people, no, I can't babysit. No, I don't, I'm not going to loan you the money. Uh, no, just because you took me out to dinner doesn't mean I'm going to be with you. It's like telling you that you don't have to apologize for being a loving person, but be more conservative with how you share your love because behind your back people are thinking like you're just not you're giving too much of yourself away you know what i'm saying the next card i have for you is from jungle beauty goddess chobby and jungle beauty goddess chobby's message to you is dang some people are simply not meant to be in your life. Whew. I've never seen a, well, I've seen readings that are clear. Listen, people are laughing at you behind your back because they think that you give too much of yourself away, um, that you're not taking care of yourself, you're too kind to people, and Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobby is just giving to you, girl. She's saying, look, some people are simply not meant to be in your life, and that includes the friends laughing behind your back. Okay, you are just too kind. You you you're too kind. You're giving too much of yourself away. You are a timeless and limitless being. Uh, proceeding this manner, what, what that means is that you don't have. 
sometimes we give ourselves away because we think other people are going to give back to us what we just gave them. So what I mean is there are a lot, a lot of people who feel like I always help people because I feel like when I need help, they're going to help me. But what happens is you give away your money and then when you need money, you can't borrow from anybody, right? You let people borrow your car and what they do, they tear up your car and now you don't have a car. And you, where are you going to get a car? Because you're giving yourself away. So a lot of times we give away what we have thinking that other people are going to give it back to us when the truth is we don't need to give it away anyway. We need to be conservative about our time and who we love and how our assets and who we share ourselves with, right? So people just see see you as just, yeah, you, you're too nice for your own good. It's not healthy and people are thinking like, wow, let's ask, you know, let's, let's ask Tina because Tina going to do it. Tina going to give it to us. So yeah, you need to cut it out, like I said. And I love this card that says, <clears throat> some people are simply not meant to be in your life. That's just not, we're not just talking about the um, the people who you're giving yourself away to, you know, romantically or otherwise. I'm talking about the friends who are also laughing. You're just a really sweet person. I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.